ready for our special guest? Yes. yes. I can't believe we pulled this off. Well, I actually, uh, Q, Q is from uh, Las Vegas, and he actually knows uh, the mayor of Las Vegas. And, and uh, after her bit crazy interview yesterday, they got a lot of publicity. We thought, why not have her on our show? Because she probably likes Chardonnay and, and, and uh, Sauvignon Blanc in excess, I would think. Um, but uh, please welcome the mayor of Las Vegas, uh, Carolyn Goodwin, or Goodman, sorry. Goodman. Sorry, Mayor. Hey. Yay. Yay. Oh, hi, hi, Q. I, I, listen, hold on, I was just cutting my wig. I'm finishing my wig here, but it's nice to see you. Nice to see you. Oh, your wig looks great, right. Oh, thank um, you, there we go, a little bit of, how's everyone? Oh, I'm so famous now. I can't believe I'm so famous. And can you believe- You are. I don't are know. And, you know, Anderson, he's cute. He's, you know, I know he's gay. I don't mean he's, he's cute. He's cute in all ways, but I don't understand. I, why can't we have people die? What's the big deal? Well, I think when you die, it's so supposed to be like in a real scenario, not um, because you entered a, um, a uh, uh, an area that is prone to have a disease, uh, a uh, virus that kills people pretty much 10% uh, of the time. That's funny. You're cute. You're cute too. <laughs> What's your friend's name, Q? What's his name? He's cute. He's adorable. You know, I grew up with your mother. Go ahead, Q. It's, it's <laughs> Mike. Mother, River. <laughs> wash our clothes by beating rocks on them. But that was back in the 1840s. Right. So and when did you become mayor? Way, I've lived through a lot. I I swam in sewer in the Hudson River. I mean, I've been through it. Please, a little chloroquine and it's gone. Some sanitizer and the, we're good. <laughs> so are you are you going to be, are you going to be gambling? Um, uh, more I, don't, I don't gamble. I don't gamble. I haven't gambled since before I went to prison. <laughs> Listen, I'm busy. I'm making dinner for my family. I make dinner every night. Every night we make dinner for my children, for my husband. We all like the same thing. What, uh, what, what, what are you playing? I even more I see that. When are you gonna until you break it, baby? <laughs> when are you gonna reopen uh, Las Vegas? Listen, my three-year-old, that's his favorite. That's his Tommy Tippy Cup. He likes martinis, extra olives, and I always take a little sip myself. <laughs> Go Looks ahead. Like you've had a few who's sips your already. You who's your friend? Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay, so if you plan on opening up uh, the casinos in Las Vegas. What about all the like the dance clubs and the strip clubs? Isn't that like they, people getting a little bit too close? Listen, the men I know have six foot poles. You know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't finish putting it on my lipstick. Hold on a second. So you're saying that it's like because of these penis size, there'll be uh, social distancing. For six feet. Okay. Now, I think that's. You know, Anderson was asking me yesterday, do I have a plan? I don't have a plan. Like I said, I'm making dinner for my family and I, I don't have a plan. I'm not, I'm not a mayor Garcetti. I mean, he might have plans. I, it's just my plan to put the casinos back to work because they care about their, their employees. They care. They have good hearts and they care. Right. Um, Question. I'm sorry. I'm just a little bit silly, and I've had a lot to drink. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. That's wonderful. Um, that's the only way to be a mayor in Vegas, and I care about my constituents. And my well, aren't you? Aren't you concerned that, like, with all the people flying in from Both all over the world? In my mouth about flying in. <laughs> because there'll be flying in and, and spreading COVID-19 all over the world again. Now that's up to the people that fly in. If you have COVID-19, would, why would you take a trip? Wouldn't you be responsible as a citizen? That's your citizen rights to be responsible as a citizen. And what, you know, why are you, I, you don't make any sense. 
What, where did you get this person to you? I don't understand. I know your mother. I knew your grandfather. I knew your grandparents. I knew their grandparents. You know, I've been around since the 1620s. <laughs> well, your hairdo has for sure. Um, <laughs> was that was that sarcastic? No, not at all. Not at I all. Heard it was one literal. Of your has a question? Maybe one of your. Are we? What is this? A town hall meeting? Yes, this is a town hall meeting. All right. Okay. So anybody can ask a question. I like so. the celebrity. I'm telling you, I might have to go gambling after this. Uh huh. Mike. Mayor of uh, Las Vegas, should I uh, take a hit on 16 if the dealer has 10? Oh, I'm sorry. What did you say? That you're you're making stories up now. <laughs> <laughs> should I hit on 16? Are you? Well, I. You know, we do allow prostitution in Las Vegas, <laughs> but I don't aspire as I don't aspire to underage. So don't. Uh, you know, that's something that I do not aspire to. Okay. Speaking of prostitution, uh, when you do reopen, will you enforce a protective gear clause for the prostitutes and their johns? Will they both oh, have to be wearing things? It's not up to me. I don't know. That's not my job. It's up to the madams. It's up to the brothels. It's up to the johns. It's up to the people to con uncontaminate themselves. I don't know. That's not my job as mayor. My job is, is I'm not sure what my job is. <laughs> that wine glass. So here, I was going to say you're I switching to wine. Well, I ha we have the martini for app hors d'oeuvres. I don't right. know if you've heard of hors d'oeuvres, but right. I come from a very high end family. And then we uh, have some wine. What's nice. your uh, favorite thing to get at the buffet? Well, now, you know, I have, I like the spare ribs. I really like <laughs> they get on your face. It's, I like it because it's, I get it for free. Anyway, <laughs> ask me questions. We need to open our city up now. Uh, are you, aren't you concerned with the fact that like, like multitudes and thousands could either die or be physically impaired for, years to come and the economy There's so many physically impaired people now what kind of a question are you why are you making up drama you know you really exaggerate anderson <laughs> anderson uh, yeah i don't think so is that you uh, i i'm just i'm more, what like do you, what do you do to, to help people what have you done are you putting them back to work are you putting them in harm's way are what are you doing i'm staying inside like they they're saying to do well, that's a fun. We only have 150 dead people. <laughs> well, that's it? What's your limit of dead people? I think that we, we're under our limit. Oh, so, okay. No, what is your limit? Well, how many dead people? And then you'll think maybe we should do this social I distancing. think we should open up now. We've already proven ourselves to be invincible. And I think we should open up. The people want to work. They have children. They have, they're all out of vodka. I can't keep giving them my vodka. They come over for pot, for pot luck, but nobody brings pot or luck. Do you, do you, people tell you you see more Reno than Vegas? Thank you. <laughs> Why? Well, I think it's actually, you know, I was I was born on the Upper East Side. Really? And I, yes, and my Anderson, I know Anderson Cooper's mother. And Gloria we used, Vanderbilt. The, yes, yes. I was I She's dead. Uh, pardon? She's dead. Oh, that's sad. Isn't that sad? That's very sad. I'd like to uh, ask, I want to ask the mayor if she's old enough to remember COVID's five and six. I'm so glad you brought that up. <laughs> oh, we got through COVID five, we got through six, we got through seven, and now it's what? What is it? 19, 18? 19. 19, exactly. And we were fine with all the other COVIDs. So I think we're going to get through this one. And that's why I'm glad you brought me on the show because I know that Q is in, is 
from Las Vegas and we need to get the word out to the governor. We need to let the people know. I get phone calls every day. I don't answer, but I do get the calls uh, and I let it go to voicemail. I haven't heard what they're saying, but I think uh, uh, from the sign that somebody wrote, open this fucking town. And you know, Anderson, I don't like to curse. Well, my only question is, that if you open the if you open Las Vegas back up, you have the uh, intimacy of the clubs, the casinos, yeah. the prostitution, the strip exactly. clubs. Why are and, you talking about prostitution? Are you some sort of a horn dog because you haven't talked about the waiters or the waitresses or the food and beverage people? You haven't talked about the owners of the casinos, the maintenance people. You just keep talking about the prostitutes. I think you're perfect. <laughs> well, I think the, that's that's an actual question. I mean, would you be willing to put yourself in their harmed way as as you are asking them to do? Absolutely not. Of course not. I have children. I have drinks to make. I'm at home. I stay home. I'm busy. And after that, do you have any? Um, do you have any? Uh, 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 you've inspired Mike, by the way. Do you have any aspirations of uh, any other um, government uh, positions after being mayor? I would like to be um, the head of HUD. <laughs> and the head of HUD? <laughs> you mean like uh, um, Ben Carson? You'd like to take his place? Like Ben Carson's job. Who, who are you looking to, uh, to follow in uh, Donald Trump's footsteps? No, why why are you suggesting that I should run for for office of the United for president of the United are you suggesting? I mean this job is hard enough. I'm answering calls, I'm listening to the bookies, I'm getting, you know, uh they're taking away all my uh what do you call it? The um my uh you know the things they Pills? give you, the bonuses. Pills, yeah. Pills, <laughs> bonuses. You know, I have a lot of casinos, casino people very, very concerned about their employees mm -hmm. and their money. Yeah, I think they're concerned about their money, not their employees. Yeah. Wow. Well, don't you start with me. All right. <laughs> right. I will snip, snip, snip. Let's see you cut off a lock of your hair. Okay. Do you have any more questions? Because I really need to make a new wig for tomorrow's interview. I will be on. B -E what am I going to be on? That's funny. <laughs> B -E -T. You guys thought you were going to be on BET in the morning. I was going to go with Jerry Springer. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, we really appreciate you being here, Mayor uh, uh, Goodman. Listen, a lot of people, I just, I, if I could, while you're in, until we can, I can get you out, because it's like a prison, I want you to know you don't need a martini shaker. You use a mason jar, and you get a strainer you're from your grandmother, the one she had in the 1700s. You get your glass. You, this is frosty glass. Yeah. I don't know if you can see. But you take your strainer, you put it here. You don't need all that fancy bartender stuff. And you pour it in. Wow. And nice. then you drink it. Wow. <laughs> take wow. that, Amalie. Take that. Right. <laughs> I stand corrected. Oh, you look great with balls in your mouth. Oh, hey. and there's the... Uh, well, we really appreciate it, Mayor, that you stopped Thank by and said hello. No words, none of the words into my mouth, from my mouth, from your mouth to God's ears, from my mouth to my husband's penis. <laughs> <laughs> All Yay! right, yes. Yes. Mayor, they're good men, everybody, in Las Vegas, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you so much for coming by, Mayor. Thank you. And